RC enthusiasts, and welcome to another Spectrum Tech Tech video with your host Tom Cogswell this time. And we're going to talk about how to update Spectrum Smart ESCs like we have on the table here. These are the Avian for Air ESCs. If you're looking at how to update the Firma Surface ESCs, check out the videos that we have linked in the description. And one of the great things about smart ESCs and Spectrum Smart Technology in general is that it's always evolving. There's always something that we're working on to update and make the experience better. One thing that you're gonna need to update these ESCs is a computer of some sort that runs Windows. At least at this time uh, of this video, there's only a Windows application. There are some emulators out there where you can use it on uh, Linux and and uh, and Mac computers and things like that. But at this point, your best bet is to grab a laptop or a PC like I have here to download the updater application. The updater application is the same application that you can use to program your ESCs with your computer. And it is the same updater for all Avian ESCs. This isn't all of them I have on the table here. It's just a few examples of what we have on, on here. And I'm gonna go over some of the slight differences and how to set them up. And then the next thing you're gonna need is the Spectrum Programmer Box for the ESCs. This is the SPM XCA200. That's the uh, part number on it. So if you need to look it up online, we'll also have a link to it in the description below if you don't already have one. It's the same programmer box for all of our smart ESCs, even the Surface Firma variety. You're also going to need the things that come with it. So this comes with a mail to mail servo lead that's going to plug into the program report. And it also comes with a USB cable with a micro end. That's important. So you're going to need that to connect to your computer. So, where do you plug in this cable? On these ESCs, it's all relatively the same. The one caveat being the 15 amp, and we'll go over that in just a minute. On the 100s and the 80s, the 45s and the 30s, and the 60, there's a port that's on the same side as the signal wire that comes out. And on the 60, it's really obvious. It's just this three pin header here. And then there's a P for where the signal goes. So the white wire is gonna go towards the P. Okay. On the 45 amps and the 30 amps, the ones with the heat shrink around it, there is a pin header that's kind of tucked underneath the, uh, it's, it's tucked underneath this, this heat shrink. So you kind of got to bend it back. What I do is I just kind of pull it back and then I plug in the connector and the signal wire is gonna to go towards the outside. So we're gonna go like that. On the 80s and 100 amps, it's the same port that the fan plugs into. So you just unplug your fan and plug it in to that same port. One thing that I like to do with these, because normally you kind of get them pushed into uh, like a, in the cowl or they, they might be hard to arc access. As one thing I like to do is I like to plug a Y cable into that port so I can have the fan always plugged in and then I'll have a lead coming out that I'll be able to, it, like the other end of the Y will be easier to access from within the canopy or something like that. Just a, a pro tip for you guys. Um, and then lastly, with this guy, the 15 amp, which is kind of a smart light ESC. It doesn't have all the telemetry from the battery going to it, but it's still a great ESC for being able to monitor amperage and temp and things like that. Uh, it actually has these two wires and they both plug into the programmer box. And I'll show you how that goes. It, essentially, you plug in the one with the two wires, the gray and the black, into the ESC port. And you're gonna have the gray being the signal, so that's gonna go towards S. And then you plug in the other one for power, essentially. So you're just gonna plug it into the back port with the negative on the outside, which is the, the brown or the black lead, essentially. And then once you plug that in, now you power on the ESC and it'll power up the programmer. All right, so 
let's go ahead and update this 15 amp. And the same process is gonna be the pretty much the same with every smart ESC, and that includes every Avian ESC and Firma ESC. So, so let's go ahead and plug in the two ports like I showed you earlier, power. So the main lead, we're just gonna use for power. Plug it in like that. And then this one's the programming lead. Plug it in like that. And then we're gonna plug in power to the ESC. So you're just gonna need a battery. And then you're gonna plug in the USB port into the programmer, and you're gonna grab your laptop or plug it into your computer. So to get to the programmer, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below so you guys can download it directly from this video. That way I don't have to get, try to show you where to find it online. You're gonna look for the Spectrum USB link icon here. It looks like the smart logo. You're gonna double tap on that or click on that. And it's gonna pull up this window for you. You're gonna take the USB cable and you're gonna plug it into an open port on your computer. And then a part progress bar should appear and start loading up. Voila, now we're on the programming screen so we can change different parameters on the ESC if we like, or like we're doing here, we're going to update the firmware. At the time of this video, this is the most recent video or uh, firmware that may be a higher number for you. Just go to this drop down here and pick the one at the top of the list. Go ahead and tap upgrade. Now this process is going to take a little while but it's going to go ahead and update the firmware on the ESC. These updates could include bug fixes or new features. We do have some new features coming, so you guys will want to keep your ESCs up to date. All right, and now we're done. The 15 amp is up to date. We can do the same thing with each of the Avian ESCs. Like I said, I would stress to make sure everything's up to date for the best user experience. This is Tom signing off for this tech tip video. If you have any other questions or comments, or if you have suggestions for more tech tip videos, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Until next time, happy flying everybody.